This video was made possible by Wix. If you are ready to create a website, head over to wix.com slash go slash infographics to try out one of their premium plans right now. Few of us relish the idea of exam time, and although some people think our students are tested too early and too stringently, most have a dim view of cheating. But it does happen, and students' attitudes towards cheating may surprise you. In a survey by US News and World Report, 51% of high school students do not consider it wrong. And even more shocking is the fact that 95% of those students interviewed said that teachers had not detected their cheating. Today, we've decided we need to dive a little more deeply into this subject and find out what's really going on in this episode of The Infographic Show, Incredible Ways People Cheat on Exams. Before we run through the list of creative ways some of these students are getting away with cheating, let's first look at some more statistics to see how bad the situation with cheating on exams really is. The Josephson Institute Center for Youth Ethics surveyed 43,000 high school students in public and private schools. 59% of high school students admitted to cheating on a test during the last year, and 34% self-reported doing it more than two times. And one out of three high school students admitted that they had used the internet to plagiarize an assignment. Cheating isn't only prevalent in high schools. Underhanded tactics are also happening in college and graduate schools. A survey of over 63,700 U.S. undergraduate students and 9,250 graduate students from the years 2002 to 2005 was conducted by Donald McGabe of Rutgers University, and it revealed more startling facts. Here are just a few. 36% of undergraduates and 24% of graduate students admit to copying a few sentences from internet sources without footnoting it. 14% of undergraduate students and 7% of graduate students admitted to fabricating or falsifying a bibliography. 7% of students report self-copying materials almost word for word from a written source without citation, and 7% self-report turning in work done by another. So what's going on? Let's take a look at some of the creative ways these students are getting away with it. Number one, a manicure can be a very important thing for a young lady if she likes to have neat, tidy nails. As it happens, it can also be very useful at exam time. It is actually possible to apply tiny handwriting or little sticky notes underneath long manicured nails. It's also easy to erase everything using your fingers if you think you're about to get caught. British newspaper The Sun reported in 2017 on a Reddit user post entitled Nailed the Exam. The user showed how an unnamed student had carefully written tiny math formulas on minuscule pieces of paper before sticking them on the underside of her nails. Creative, right? Maybe yes, but she got little praise with most Reddit users who were quicker to comment on the student's laziness, claiming the formulas could have been easily learned. One person wrote, and just think, the amount of time and effort to painstakingly attach those little bitty cheat sheets could have gone into actually learning the material. Number two, modern pens come in a variety of different shapes and sizes, and some have internal non-transparent plastic or metal areas that create a perfect environment for secret notes. You can take the pen cartridge out during the exam and then extract a note with the necessary information to copy. And pens in China have gone a step further with the introduction of technology. In Sichuan province, 40 students were suspected of using a high-tech pen for cheating. The pen worked like a mini phone and would send test questions back to another location and answers would be sent back to the cheaters via in-ear receivers. Number three, calculators are one of the most common cheating tools. If you use a pencil, you can write notes on the back of a calculator and they are almost invisible unless you look at the calculator very closely or better still, hold it at an angle so the light reflects off of it. And other students have been known to be more cunning by using the calculator memory. A calculator, after all, is a mini computer and you can hide formulas and test answers for some period of time. With some calculators, you can write a program the day before the exam and under the program function, type in formulas or cheat notes that can be accessed during the exams. But lots of teachers now check the programs on calculators, so students have become more cunning by putting their notes under the VARS or Variables button in one of the 10 strings listed. When notes are placed in different sections of the calculator, it's much harder for the teacher to locate them. Number four, since we're talking about technology, let's not forget modern digital watches, which can fully replace smartphones and offer all sorts of cheating options. They have apps, instant messaging, and internet access. So when a student is subtle, they can solve a test in a matter of minutes by using their watch. And then there are Google Glasses that hook into other devices. We found a story about students at a medical college in Thailand who were caught using spy cameras linked to smartwatches to cheat during exams. 
they plan to use wireless spy cams embedded in eyeglasses to capture exam questions before transmitting them to associates elsewhere and receiving responses back through linked smartwatches. But the plot was foiled, and Arthit Ureirat, director of Rangsit University, posted pictures of the high-tech cheating equipment on his Facebook page. Number 5. Finally, we also found a rather persuasive cheating method used by some students that involves psyching the teacher out. What do we mean by that? As soon as an exam paper is returned, the student makes corrections that are similar to the teacher's corrections and presents them as mistakes made by the teachers. Some teachers, especially less experienced ones, get nervous because they can't be sure they have not overlooked or misinterpreted something. The teacher may then immediately agree to improve the grade without looking at what is there and rechecking where the amendments were. It is not a pleasant method of cheating and it takes a very cheeky student to use this underhanded approach. One country that comes up repeatedly in search results when you look at cheating on exams is India. This is due to some past cheating epidemics that have been exposed over the years. In 2015, British news agency the BBC reported that around 300 people were arrested in the Indian state of Bihar for blatant cheating on school exams. Incredibly, dozens of parents and friends of students were photographed climbing school walls to pass answers through the classroom windows and some of the classrooms were as high as four stories above the ground. Many of those arrested were parents and at least 750 students were expelled. State Education Minister P.K. Shahi asked, three to four people helping a single student would mean that there is a total of six to seven million people helping students cheat. Is it the responsibility of the government alone to manage such a huge number of people and to conduct a 100% free and fair examination? Then, this year, the BBC reported again on the situation. It said that the authorities and the same state in India have now asked students not to wear shoes or socks in order to stop them from being able to sneak notes with answers into the exam hall and cheating during exams. The rule came into effect on February 21st of this year, when roughly 1.8 million 15-year-olds took part in their final Class 10 test school exam. The crackdown on cheating by authorities has seen the state of Bihar's pass rate fall from more than 70% in 2014 and 2015 to barely 50%. Cheating certainly seems to be prevalent, but in reality, it's stealing the work of another student who has put in the time to learn the material. And getting a good grade you didn't actually earn can also damage the curve for the entire class and leave the students who are struggling with exams believing that there is something wrong with them for not understanding. One place where you definitely don't need to cheat is when you're building your own website. And when you do finally decide to make a website, we suggest using Wix. With Wix, you can build a safe, robust, fast, and most importantly, modern website. And best of all, you have infinite design possibilities. Wix does all the complicated stuff, and it doesn't just host websites, it has a solution for mailboxes, email marketing, and more. No matter what kind of professional solution you're looking for, whether it's something in e-commerce, music, hotels, events, or restaurants, Wix can help you get it done right. Make that website you've been thinking about and support the infographic show at the same time by going to wix.com slash go slash infographics or by clicking the link in the description. So, have you cheated on exams? And are there other methods you know of that we didn't mention? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video called The Most Dangerous Schools in America. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Infographic Show, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time!